Hi folks. Here we are with another oh, I can't get this open. Stall 13 video. Well, it's that time of year in North America where the temperatures are getting low. And I want to show you something that a lot of people make a mistake is, and that's how they break open their ice on their horse's water tank. We'll be talking about tank heaters and how grounding them, but right now notice this morning what I did was is I just punched a small hole about the size of a serving platter or like a hubcap on a big car. But see, look, the rest of this is solid ice. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that if you have an open area of water right here that's large enough for a horse to stick their nose through, that that's sufficient for a horse to drink. That's not necessarily the case. If you're going to take a few minutes to punch a hole like this, why not just take literally less than a minute or two to punch a hole and get rid of all the ice on the entire tank? Well, I need to get some things to do this with. So, just hold on a second. Right back. I got to get something to break this ice up with. The two most popular things that people use to break ice is a hammer or a hatchet. Why? Well, because they're all over the garage and the barn and the utility shed. See, this is what I did this morning. I just pounded it and opened it up. Now I have a bunch of chunks. Or you can take a hatchet and you can do the same thing. See, look, the ice is all now broken up. But promise you, I do not, even for your educational purposes, do I want to start dipping this ice out with my hand. What do you use? Well, believe it or not, you can use things like butterfly nets or something else that's around the barn that actually works. And by the way, I am famous for using things that are under the other than what the manufacturer intended to use. Use a rake. See, look, this is just a regular rake. You put your rake in and you start bailing the ice out. The more ice that you remove from this tank, the harder it is for the cold weather, wherever you are, to ice this tank over. Now, why is this important to get all this ice out if we had an opening that was literally two to three times bigger than what a horse's nose and face is? I'm going to explain that to you why. Okay. In the summertime, horses would rather drink water that is cool and refreshing. In the wintertime, a horse, see how nice and open this is? We've got a few little weeds. We've had windy weather. See, now we have a completely what is called, quote unquote, a defrosted tank. Okay, why do we want to do this? In the summertime, they'd rather drink cool water on a hot day. In the wintertime, they'd rather drink warm water on a cold day. Whether it's 100 degrees or like today, it's below freezing, a horse requires a certain amount of water every day to digest their food. So just because you think it's too cold for them to drink, they need to drink. Because if you're giving your horse more grain, more uh, bagged horse feed, uh, more roughage or more, more hay to try to help them uh, be warmer, to digest that food and stay warm, then they need water to break that down. So you want to keep this tank wide open. Tank heaters are great, but if you don't have tank heaters, there's no electricity, then you might have to break this ice as many as two times a day, once in the morning and once at night. The more ice that you remove from this tank, the easier it is to keep it defrosted, and believe it or not, the warmer the water is and the more appealing it is to the horse. Horses are lazy. They're always looking for a reason not to do something. So don't just punch a little hole. Clean the whole tank out of ice, if possible. We'll talk more about this in later videos. But right now, we're experiencing some cold weather in North America, and it's important that you understand that you really need to defrost your tanks. Well, there you have it. This is another video from Stall 13. Visit the radio show's website, www.stall13.com. And yes, I have to say that in every video. My name is BJ. Thanks for listening to the show. Hope you enjoyed this video. More to come, I promise. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your horses. I think I got more tanks to do this to. Have a good day. Bye.